structure of male and female reproductive organs of fishes and physiology of reproduction. Introduction. Fish reproductive systems are highly diverse, reflecting the evolutionary adaptations that allow them to thrive in various aquatic ecosystems. The structure and physiology of reproductive organs in fishes are intricately linked to their reproductive strategies, which can include external or internal fertilization, oviparity, egg laying, ovoviviparity, eggs hatch inside the female's body, or viviparity, live bearing. The reproductive physiology of fishes is governed by complex interactions between environmental stimuli, hormonal control, and seasonal changes. Embryology and phylogeny of gonads and their ducts. Embryologically, the gonads of fishes develop from mesodermal tissues, specifically from the genital ridge adjacent to the mesonephros. Primordial germ cells, PGCs, migrate to this region and proliferate, leading to the formation of undifferentiated gonads. These structures later differentiate into either testes or ovaries depending on genetic and environmental cues. From a phylogenetic perspective, the evolutionary history of fish gonads reflects the transition from simple to more complex structures. Primitive jawless fishes like lampreys and hagfish possess less specialized gonads compared to teleosts, which exhibit highly organized gonadal structures. The gonaducts, which facilitate the release of gametes, evolve from the mesonephric ducts and vary significantly across different fish taxa. Male reproductive organs. The primary reproductive organs in male fishes are the testes, which are typically paired and located dorsally in the abdominal cavity. In teleos fishes, the testes are lobular in structure and can be classified based on the arrangement of spermatogenic cells into tubular or unrestricted spermatogonial types. The testes are enveloped by a connective tissue capsule called the tunica albuginea, which extends inward to form septa, dividing the organ into lobules. Internally, the testes consist of seminiferous tubules or lobules, where spermatogenesis occurs. Each tubule contains Sertoli cells that support and nourish developing sperm cells. The interstitial tissue between the tubules contains Leydig cells, which are responsible for producing testosterone and other androgens. Histology of testis and spermatogenesis. Histologically, the testes of teleost fishes show distinct stages of germ cell development. The seminiferous epithelium contains spermatogonia, primary and secondary spermatocytes, spermatids, and mature spermatozoa arranged in layers. Spermatogenesis is a complex process that involves three main stages. Proliferation, mitotic division of spermatogonia to produce primary spermatocytes. 2. Meiosis. Reductional division of primary spermatocytes to form secondary spermatocytes and eventually haploid spermatids. 3. Spermiogenesis. Transformation of spermatids into mature spermatozoa. Characterized by morphological changes such as tail development and nuclear condensation. Endocrine and supportive tissue of testis. The interstitial tissue of the testis contains Leydig cells, which function as the primary endocrine cells, producing testosterone. This hormone regulates spermatogenesis, secondary sexual characteristics, and reproductive behavior. Sertoli cells, located within the seminiferous tubules, provide structural support and facilitate the movement of developing germ cells toward the lumen of the tubules. They also secrete androgen-binding proteins that help maintain high local concentrations of testosterone necessary for spermatogenesis. Seasonal morphohistological changes during testicular cycle in teleos. Teleost fishes exhibit distinct seasonal changes in their testes, corresponding to the reproductive cycle. Resting phase, characterized by inactive seminiferous tubules and minimal spermatogenic activity. Preparatory phase, germ cells begin to proliferate and hormonal activity increases. Maturing phase, Testes enlarge and spermatogenesis intensifies. Spawning phase, mature spermatozoa are released into the sperm ducts for fertilization. Post-spawning phase, testicular regression occurs with a reduction in size and cessation of spermatogenesis. Female reproductive organs. The primary female reproductive organs in fishes are the ovaries, which are usually paired structures located in the abdominal cavity. 
ovaries can be categorized based on their duct systems. Cystovarian, common in teleosts. The ovarian duct is connected directly to the body cavity. Gymnivarian, found in some primitive fishes like elasmobranchs. The eggs are released into the body cavity before entering the oviducts. The ovaries are responsible for producing ova and secreting female reproductive hormones such as estrogen and progesterone, ovarian follicles, and accessory female reproductive structures. The ovarian follicles consist of developing oocytes surrounded by granulosa and theca cells. The granulosa layer provides nourishment and contributes to hormone production, while the theca layer supports follicular development and secretes androgens, which are later converted to estrogens by granulosa cells. Accessory reproductive structures include the oviducts, which transport ova from the ovaries to the external environment or facilitate internal fertilization in live-bearing species. Some species possess specialized glands that secrete protective coatings around the eggs. Physiology of Reproduction in Fishes The physiology of reproduction in fishes involves intricate hormonal regulation and environmental cues. The hypothalamic pituitary gonadal HBG axis plays a crucial role, with gonadotropin releasing hormone GNRH, stimulating the release of gonadotropins FSH and LH from the pituitary gland. These hormones regulate gametogenesis, gonadal development, and secondary sexual characteristics. Environmental factors such as temperature, photoperiod, and water quality significantly influence the timing and success of reproduction in fishes. For example, seasonal breeders often synchronize spawning with favorable environmental conditions to maximize offspring survival.